New tonight, Gladewater ISD administrators are in hot water about social media. See, it all started with a very suspicious email, but school leaders decided against telling parents. KTK's Annalise Coble investigates what all the commotion is about. Mass killings at schools are becoming alarmingly common, which is why Gladewater Independent School District takes them very seriously. Student safety is the top responsibility of GISD. It is our responsibility to return students home the way that their parents sent them. The school received emails demanding students be released early. These emails did not uh, uh, push a, a shooting or have any worrying about a shooting. Uh, a bombing or anything of that nature. So the school assembled students to ask for tips about who sent the emails. Parents were not notified by the school district. They learned about it from their children. And that's where the confusion began. Here's just a few of the conflicting comments we found on Facebook. One parent said, my daughter just informed me there was an assembly today where the principal said there were multiple terrorist threats sent to the school. Another parent said, my kids were at the assembly and they said the principal did not say it was a shooting or at the pep rally. Another chimed in, talked to some of the teachers and it's not as serious as it's being made out to be. The that was against the principal only and it's being addressed, we're told. Confusion that left parents feeling uneasy about sending their kids to school today. And if we would have known about it, we would have felt maybe a little bit better as far as sending our kids to school today. But just finding out last minute like that, I wasn't taking any chances. We take responsibility for that. In the future, we'll make sure that our parents know uh, what's going on. But at no time was there any physical threat to any of our students or our faculty. Gladewater police have been investigating the emails. Due to the, the rumors that were circulating throughout the community, we as a department did take precautions. We had several officers at the pep rally this morning uh, just to give everyone a sense of security. A sense of security in a sensitive time. Annalise Coble, KETK News. By the way, Superintendent Clark says he chose not to tell parents in order to avoid unnecessary panic, but he understands the confusion and plans to share any and all important issues with parents in the future.